And as we just saw, some people decided to celebrate Juneteenth, but others chose to take a walk back in history, which made the Day of Freedom possible. WJCL 22 News' Kyra Naveau shares how one local museum opened up for a special history lesson. The Ralph Mark Gilbert Civil Rights Museum in Savannah opened its doors Sunday, allowing the public to come in and experience all they have to offer for free. The museum's executive director tells me this is to honor Juneteenth and the fathers around. Happy Juneteenth, that's the first reason, okay? But the real reason is because Father's Day. Ralph Mark Gilbert was considered the father of Savannah's civil rights movement. He was also very active here in the state of Georgia, bringing about a movement to, to make change with voting rights. The exhibit on Martin Luther King Boulevard has three floors that tell the story about civil rights, but also highlights some of Savannah's own civil rights leaders, including Gilbert, but also Wesley Wallace Law and Hosea Williams. Our timeline, of course, begins with 1865, but it moves quickly to the local chapter of the NAACP being founded in 1917. And then once you get in the building or up the stairs into the big room, what we create here, for example, a wall of segregation, public, private, and job and housing discrimination. And I always ask people if that still exists. And of course, there's always a resounding yes. Among those present at the museum was Robert Hicks. He tells me he wanted to take advantage of the free day at the museum. And to see this place, it just takes you back and it really makes you appreciate what these people have done, the black people have done. Not only the black, it was some white as well that helped us get this far. And it's very educational. And it's a lot of stuff in here that I didn't know. And I can see and I can take, I could stay in here for hours. Reporting in Savannah, Kyron Naveau, WJCL 22 News.